It is. Joshing with each other. It's really, real. there's a comfort level and a chemistry that we all have that I think um, can't really be duplicated because it's it's been 20 years for many of us. Um, I've known Justin for, I think this is my fifth movie with Justin. I've known him for about 15 years, so nearly the entire time. And there's just this shorthand everyone has with each other. Um, and And that's something that's very lucky because it's like we're playing when we're offset, and then when it's time to work, we know each other's rhythms, and it's it's really wonderful. Um, no, she's Mia's not that easy to play because I think oftentimes Mia's um, she she's evolved a lot. I think in the first one she was very uh, strong, like hard headed, uh, sort of the the foil to like her big brother and like a little bit more rebellious. And then she sort of transitioned into this more maternal um, uh, grounding character. And now I get to have a little bit more fun again and I'm out with everyone on the missions. And I think after Fast Five, it, it, it really got fun for me. Um, or, or Mia was having more fun. And um, yeah. so with every, with every one, I always have to, like I look back, I rewatch the movies, I think about her in the context of the film. And um, so it's not something that's, that's secondhand or, or at least I prepare a lot and then it becomes secondhand once I'm, once I'm on set with everyone. Um, physically for sure, because uh, with Justin, I, I just, I begged so much to be a part of the action that then I really didn't want to let him down. So I took Taekwondo lessons. I was sending him videos of myself at the gym, like making sure that he knew that I was getting ready. And then with our amazing stunt team in, in London, I, I was just, I was like, guys, like once you have the choreography set, please know that I need like, I want 90 minutes each day with you guys to memorize it and get it in my body so that by the time we're shooting with Justin and we break it up into little pieces, I know it by heart and it's in my body. Um, but that's like the that's like the best part of working on these films is that you get to do this with, with the people that are at the very top of their game. So that was awesome. It was really fun. But be, because of the prep, um, it, it, it really went seamlessly. But I also have to give Michelle credit because it wasn't just on this one that she's been fighting for the female character. She's been fighting since, since day one. And I think what was really important to us on this one wasn't only that we were a part of the action, because Michelle's always been a part of the action. It was, I was the one that trying to like edge in there. Um, but, but also that our history as friends, like Letty and me are friends, but then the audience doesn't get to see like, Okay, do they hang out? Like, what do they argue about? How do they feel about Dom? How, like, what are the other issues they talk about? And so I feel like that is also something we both want to explore further because um, there's so much rich history there to, to sort of dig into. I think there's so many worlds within the Fast and Furious franchise that it would be really fun to explore to explore the female characters. And of course, Natalie would have to be a part of that because she's so, I mean, she's instrumental now and, and Ramsey's such an important character. It'd be really, really fun. Yeah, I mean, it's it's such a, it's a character that was, you know, created and and yet it's, um, it's sort of a mythic character, right? Because within the canon, it's like, it's something that, that fills in uh, blanks that have been left in terms of why Dom is the way he is, what his history is. So. That's a really vital character for the, the fans of the Fast and Furious franchise. So I can imagine how much pressure he felt. He must have been petrified and hopefully, um, hopefully he felt super welcome and he did an awesome job and he filled those shoes uh, really well. And he, he, you didn't, I didn't see him crack under pressure at all. He, he seemed very, very cool throughout, throughout the whole um, shoot. I think when the enemy's within, it's 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 scarier because they know what your well. On one hand, they know what your weaknesses are. They know the history, so it's it's like less strategic fighting and more. You just don't know what this person's gonna do. Um, but I also think, on the other hand, it's like the payoff is greater at the end when when you see what happens. It's really, given the theme of of the films, I think it uh, it definitely is super gratifying at the end. And I have to say, sometimes I read it and I don't fully, and sometimes I'm shooting with the green screen 
like the 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 se- sequence at the end with Jacob and the giant truck and us. I had no idea what that was going to look like. I had no idea all the different elements that were going to come together until I actually saw the film and I was like, oh, this makes so much sense to me. Um, because it is so enormous in scope that you you really do have to see it to believe it. Um, reading it just isn't quite enough with these films. Yeah, with, with the first sequence, I was absolutely blown away. I was breathless after seeing the first sequence. Um, and I feel like it's it's one of the best sequences of, of the entire franchise. Um, so I think it, it definitely sets the tone for the film. I was mainly in London, but in, in the past, I think my, my favorite place to visit was uh, was Brazil, having grown up in Brazil. And so it was kind of a homecoming. And, and uh, it was just like the culture in Rio is so, it, it, it's so um, meshed with with the Fast and Furious vibe in terms of everyone just being very welcoming and open and it was just an awesome time. Yes, I'm a control freak, so I like to know what I'm doing. I like to pr- be able to prepare and and um, a lot of it's just a giant leap of faith where you're like, okay, I don't know what the, I can see the previs, which is what Justin can show you. And it's like a, a little like stick figure Mia cartoon doing what Justin would like me to do. And so I can get an idea of what's going to happen. But a lot of it is just complete, utter faith in Justin as he's like, okay, look ahead. And there's a giant thing coming at you. And you're like, okay. And, and then, and then he, he puts it together seamlessly. It makes it so much easier. Also, I think... Um, as an actor, you're so vulnerable and, you're, and, and you just have to trust that someone has your back and, and that when they've got it, they've got it as far as uh, takes are concerned and as far as the scene uh, he's building. And, and I just have complete faith in Justin and the fact that he's going to carry us home with this franchise um, makes me feel really good. I, th- I think it's definitely... I think it's Tyrese and and Tyrese like if there's ever tension because like the stakes are really high or we're all you know stressing about something which is very rare Tyrese is is definitely the one to to break the the ice and um yeah he's really fun to be around I think 20 years ago um when Fast and Furious came out um the audience saw themselves in the film because we had diversity we we had so much heart. We showed that families don't have to be, you know, uh, conventional. They can be just a tribe of friends, um, and that the most important thing within that tribe is loyalty. And so I think that's how our our fan base started. And then and then I think with each film after that, we had to earn our fans, and we wanted to earn their approval and their love. And and that hasn't stopped. We're always thinking about how we're going to evolve, how we're going to grow, how we're not going to let anyone down. And that's really difficult as technology um, expands. And as we've, you know, gone to like, I think with every film, everyone's like, well, what are they going to do next? Like, it's impossible to outdo the last one. And yet, and yet we do. And that, um, and that's because we don't take anything for granted. Well, what, what really, uh, blows me away about fast is what we're able to build. So, um, for example, when Letty and I go to Tokyo, that was built on set and that was the craftsmanship of, of, of set design. And, um, when we're in the lair, we have these massive, uh, doors that open and close. And so, um, a lot of it, we got to witness ourselves and then, and then some of it was just, we had to sort of imagine and then it came, came to life on screen. So it's a combination of both. You can expect your mind to be blown because, and you know what else I really loved about uh, Fast 9 was the flashbacks and how much of Dom's history comes to light and how much of, you kind of learn why Dom is the way he is and you fall in love with him more as a character because you see where he's coming from. And I think that's really gratifying for fans. That It was, it was super cool for me as, as an actor to be like, oh my gosh, all those pieces are coming together. And, and seeing it was so different from reading it in the script. It, like I, I was crying for, for parts of those scenes because it was like our, our family history basically right before my eyes. So um, I think diehard fans are gonna be really satisfied with that aspect of the film. Some, sometimes it is a bit strange, but I think um, it's, also, it's also a really cool way to, to sort of uh, evolve the franchise is that it's not 
it's not quite chronological. There, there are these things that we're calling back, and I think it's a very cool way to, to let the, the franchise develop. Well, first of all, I'd love to be in a scene with Charlize. I think that would be badass. Um, and one of the the female actresses that I just adore is is Sandra Bullock, and I think she would add to the, you know, maybe take a little bit of the comedy away from Tyrese and give some to her. Um, yeah. I think that would also be really fun. She's just one of my favorites, so I would love to see her. And and I, I feel like we've proven that there's always a way to include, you know, um, bring someone into the fold. So I think that'd be awesome.